Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you 100% opaque pixel. So this is a variation of remove transparency standard. So what these guys do is they're actually going to create a cosine uh, halftone to those edges. So it depends on the application. Um, text, it's probably not a great idea. You're better off using remove transparency. But I want to show you what those are about. So these are going to uh, do the best they can to apply a rasterization to remove all of the semi-transparent pixels. Um, and, and give you a sort of blending uh, with the rasterization. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Let's, let's take a look at the text. So this is probably a bad example, but remember, this text here has a fuzzy edge. So let's go ahead and we're going to use the smallest dot size, which is 100% opaque pi pixels, cosine 14. So make sure everything else is turned off except the one that you want to apply it to, and then click that macro. So we'll let that process, speed of the computer again. Um, but you can see that has now tried to create a rasterization edge, um, which I don't think is great for this text. If I turn on the background, you know, from a distance, maybe nobody would tell, but this is just destructive. I don't think it's great. You're better off using remove transparency. So let's go ahead and delete that. And we'll show it with the original artwork here of the leopard. Um, so remember, this is just for the edges. It's it's gonna you know it's kind of a running gun to just get artwork prepared where you don't have transparency needed. So with that one selected, everything else turned off. Let's um, select 100% opaque pixels, cosine 14. So remember, 14 is the size of the dot. So 14 is the smallest, all the way up to 30. If you guys need different sizes, let me know. So this one basically keeps the artwork put together, leaves the black, creates a cosine dot, um, but notice that there is no black removal where you're getting um, different rasterization dot or holes in the different areas of black. It's just applying it to any of the semi-transparent pixels you're getting the rasterization to. So if I turn the garment color on, you see we get that nice fade and with the text. If I wanted the text, I'd come in here, get this text with the fuzzy edge, and apply remove transparency standard. It's going to go through and try to smoothen out and uh, crispen up, make sure that edge is 100% opaque. And now what we have is artwork basically ready to go to print. So that is the 100% opaque pixels.